Everybody, this is Doug Kenny from Relentless and Unstoppable, and today we have Johanna with us. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing well, Doug. How are you? Doing Thanks good. Me. No problems. So, uh, where are you at at the moment? I am in the beautiful island of Puerto Rico, where of course the weather is unpredictable, so it's raining at the moment. <laughs> yeah, what is Puerto Rico like? Uh, well, it's a tropical island, so it is nice and warm, very humid. Uh, like I said, very uh, unful, so not even 10 minutes ago it was sunny outside, and now it's pouring down rain. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. It's good to hear. We've we've been getting a lot of rain in Phoenix, too, lately. That's not normal either, huh? Yeah, it's not normal for the most part, but yeah. All right, so what are you famous for? What are you known for? Uh, well, I own a yoga school, and I do something called ELM, which is a type of life coaching that involves using the yoga philosophy and the teachings of yoga to help elevate people's mindsets and really change the way that they see and they experience their lives. Nice, nice. Tell our followers a bit of how we met. Uh, we met at the Women of Achievement pageant. Uh, I was recently so honored to be um, invited to compete representing this beautiful place, Puerto Rico. And, uh, you know, I went with zero expectations because I had never been on pageant. And this whole thing is completely new to me. So it was really amazing to have been able to, first of all, meet and connect with so many amazing women and men as yourself and just be able to show that this philosophy of yoga is really something that people are resonating with and they're connecting with because it's not just like what you do with your body it's really about how to get understand your mind and i think being able to kind of show and identify people with what yoga can do for them is really what helped me be able to come out on top and become Mrs. U.S. Woman of Achievement. Nice. That's great to hear. I'm, gl I'm glad to hear you won that. Yeah. <laughs> what was it like winning that? Uh, it was very expected. I'll definitely tell you that. I practiced a lot of things, but what I would do if I won was not one of them because I honestly didn't think that that would be the case i just wasn't prepared for that i started looking into it and started realizing that i didn't really know what i was getting myself into because these women spend a lot of time preparing for these pageants a lot of them have competed in pageants previously so um i said yes to something before i looked into it and then i really got scared and through what we imposter syndrome right i realized like, who am i and what have i accomplished and I would compare myself to people like Dai, who has written books and has founded amazing companies. And it, it was just, yeah, it was just very unexpected. And, and I was, I'm very grateful, very grateful to be able to, to represent women of achievement and to be able to go to different places in Puerto Rico and, and use the crown as an excuse to be able to, to talk about yoga and enlighten people as to what the practice can do for them. Great to hear. So uh, what was the process like of the pageant in January? Well, the process started for me in November 6th because that's when I spoke to Marlena for the first time. So I only had two months to get ready. Um, at first, I just started looking into like what pageantry was like. And then I quickly realized how much it was involved in and how much went into it so i really got a fire in my bum to start looking for people to help me so i found sponsors and collaborators louise lopez uh collaborated with me on the final gown namibia viera from new york uh helped me with a couple of the gowns that i wore for my interview and to be crowned as mrs puerto rico 
and Ropa has Inc. also supplied some of the wear. And uh, Giselle Hartquin, she helped with my makeup, and she owns a uh, um, self makeup school in California. So the cool thing was that it made me connect with a lot of people to see who would be on board to supporting. And to be honest, everyone that I asked was very much willing to support. In terms of just preparing myself, really, it took a while to just figure out what exactly entailed me being in the pageant and what exactly I was being judged on during it. So once I really had my mind around it it was mostly about how do i present my my project how do i present my speech in a way that is very concise very understandable and that nails what yoga is in a very short amount of time right because we only had about five minutes for the speech and and for our platform interview so it, it was a challenge. It was really challenging. And I, and I really enjoyed the process, you know, of, of kind of having to make my message more concise. I feel like it really helped me hone down on how to present it in a way that is landing a little bit better. And, and I'm super grateful for that. Great to hear. So uh, what's your platform you presented at Woman of Achievement? It was helping create or elevate world peace through the practice of yoga. Basically, the idea is that we can only fix things from the inside out. You cannot expect things to be different outside of yourself, but then not do anything to contribute to things being different. How do you contribute to being peaceful outside of yourself? You become peaceful within. And yoga teaches you tools that you can apply to be able to elevate your state of, of inner suffering and inner peace so that you're not sharing a low vibration and bad energy with others, but you are serving as a vessel of light to help elevate those around you. That's great to hear. Uh, when did you begin this platform? I guess I first practiced yoga more than 15 years ago. Uh, I started incorporated into my business 12 years ago. And really, it's be it's become sort of an obsession and, and my mission and my passion in life. Really, since about 2016, I started really focusing on how do I create situations for myself? And how does my mind lead me to creating those situations? And yoga helped me understand that and address that in a way that would help not just serve me, but then serve anyone I come into contact with and everyone around me. Wow, that's awesome. Do you have any plans to promote it anywhere else? You know, I do as much as I can. I, I go around the world. I'm going to Ecuador in May. I'll be in Bali in September. Um, I do things online. I do a lot of webinars and and podcasts like these i mean i i talk about this to anyone who will listen whether they're paying me or not paying me it's beside the point like there's a message that people need to understand and that message is that yoga is not a physical practice yoga is a practice that helps you understand who you are and come back to yourself and if you really have no idea what that means that's exactly why you should be incorporating yoga into your life it's because that is why we're here we are here to determine who we are and, and then determine what we want to leave behind uh, as a legacy, not just for this, for our families, but for this planet, for this earth, for this entire human experience. Nice, nice. Sounds pretty cool. What podcast have you been on? Oh my, I've been on the Entrepreneur Podcast. I've been on the mentor uh, Mentorship Mindset um, I've been on Raw and Unscripted. I've been on, I was just on with the She Is Foundation. Um, I've been on podcasts here in the U.S. and podcasts abroad in the U.K. Uh, I did the one minute podcast not too long ago. That one was fun. I got to describe everything that I do in exactly one minute. So that was, that was very interesting. And, um, yeah, ever since 2018. 
So if you want to hear more about what I speak, all you have to do is just go ahead and write down my name right there and just Google Google it and, and you can hear some cool stuff that, that we've been... I mean, the message has always been the same. You know, get get to know who you are and and what your thoughts are so that you don't become so identified with them and then you can live a, a happier, much, much happier and more peaceful life. Yeah, for sure. That sounds good. So where can people find you? Uh, if you want to find me on Instagram, it's at bay underscore lifestyle PR. You can go to my website, bay-lifestyle.com, or you can just call me 815-501-5070. would love to chat. Awesome. Great to hear. So that's all we have for now, but we thank you for coming on. Thanks for having me, Doug. No problem. So everybody, please check out Johanna on the websites and numbers she gave. And we'll see you next week for the next episode of R&U.